Okay, let's talk about the requirements for obtaining a bachelor degree pass in metric. Before we can go into talking about the requirements for obtaining a bachelor degree pass, I want us to first talk about the national senior certificate itself. After that, we are going to talk about the requirements for obtaining a higher certificate, a diploma, and in the end, we will talk about the requirement for obtaining a bachelor degree pass. Okay, so there are three pass levels for a national senior certificate, namely a higher certificate, a diploma, and a bachelor degree. And for compulsory subject, subject that you must have on your metric certificate, the following subjects are compulsory. You must have a subject that you registered as home language. Okay, you must have a subject that you registered as home language. It can be any of these subject. Okay, it can be any one of these subject. And you must have a subject that you registered as first additional language. Again, it can be any one of these subject. And you must have registered for mathematics or mathematical literacy and you must have registered for life orientation. Okay, so these subjects are compulsory on your metric certificate. You must have this subject on your metric certificate. And it is important to note that either English or Afrikaans must be registered as one of your language subjects. Okay, so it means you can register for English and any of these language subjects any one of these language subject or you can register for Afrikaans and any one of these language subject okay so the admission point score APS this table is a measure of your performance in your national senior certificate okay the admission point score APS is a measure of your performance in your national senior certificate okay we are going to see that let's move on okay now the minimum admission requirements for higher certificate the minimum admission requirement for you to have a higher certificate level you must obtain at least 40 percent for your home language okay at least 40 percent for your home language the subject that you registered as home language okay you must have at least 40 percent okay and it can be any one of these language subject okay any one of these language subject it can be anyone okay so the subject that you registered as home language you must obtain at least 40 percent in it so at least 40 percent when you check this on the admission point score okay APS you are going to see that you must have from 40 all the way to 100 okay at least at least 40 percent means not below 40 at least 40 percent not below 40 so you must have at least 40 percent for your home language it means from 40 all the way to 100 percent okay you must have your percentage in this interval from 40 to 100 percent not below 40 percent okay and the APS level will be from 3 all the way to 7 okay not 2 not 1 from 3 all the way to 7 and you have the description of competence okay you have 7 which is from 80 percent to 100 percent outstanding and you have six meritorious all these names so these are the description for competence okay and another requirement is you must obtain at least 40 percent for two other subjects okay you must obtain at least 40 percent for two other subjects and another requirement is you must obtain at least 30 percent for the language of teaching and learning in most cases it is english okay english is used as the language of teaching and learning okay and another requirement you must obtain at least 30 percent for three other subjects okay 
at least 30% for three other subjects. Okay, and you must pass at least six out of seven subjects. Okay, a fail is considered anything below 30%. When you look at this table, the table for admission point score, anything below 30% is considered fail. Okay, from zero to 29%, this is considered as a fail. Okay, so you must at least pass six out of seven subjects. Now, obtaining a higher certificate qualifies you for higher certificate studies. It is important to note that just obtaining a higher certificate will not enroll you for any higher certificate studies. Okay, it is important to note that just obtaining a higher certificate will not enroll you for any higher certificate studies. So, you will have to check for subject and mark levels requirement with the institution to which you are intending to apply for. Now let's move on to the minimum admission requirement for diploma. Now the minimum admission requirement for diploma, okay? The minimum admission requirement for diploma level, okay? You must obtain at least 40% for your home language, okay? At least 40% for your home language, the subject that you registered as home language, okay? At least 40%. When you check this on the admission point score, APS, this table, you can see 40%. You have from 40% all the way to 100%, okay? Not below 40%. Okay, not below 40%. And another requirement, you must obtain at least 40% for three other subjects, excluding life orientation. Okay, so life orientation is not one of those three subjects. Okay, you must obtain at least 40% for three other subjects, excluding life orientation. And another requirement, you must obtain at least 30% for the language of learning and teaching of an institution of higher learning such as a university. Okay, you must obtain at least 30%, so not below 30%. Okay, the language of learning and teaching for many institutions is English. Okay, and another requirement is you must obtain at least 30% for one other subject okay at least 30 percent for one other subject and another requirement you must pass at least six out of seven subject okay and fl is considered anything below 30 percent so from zero percent to 29 percent is considered a fail okay so you can fail one subject it is okay to fail one subject but not two subjects, okay? You must pass at least six out of seven subjects, okay? You can see from zero to 29%, this is considered as a fail, okay? And obtaining a diploma qualifies you for diploma studies, okay? Obtaining a diploma qualifies you for diploma studies. And it is important to note that just obtaining a diploma will not enroll you for any diploma studies okay just obtaining a diploma will not enroll you for any diploma studies so you will have to check for subject and mark levels requirement with the institution to which you are intending to apply okay so now let's move on to the minimum admission requirement for a bachelor okay Okay, now let's talk about the minimum admission requirements for you to obtain a bachelor degree level. Okay, the minimum admission requirements for you to obtain a bachelor degree level. Okay, you must obtain at least 40% for your home language. Okay, you must obtain at least 40% for your home language. When you check on the admission point score, APS, when you check on this table, okay, at least 40%. You have 40%, at least 40% means not below 40%. At least 40% means from 40% all the way to 
okay at least 40 percent means not below 40 percent but from 40 percent all the way to 100 percent so you must have a percentage in this interval it can be 40 percent or 41 or 42 all the way to 100 percent okay and another requirement you must obtain at least 50 percent for four other subjects okay excluding life orientation okay so life orientation is not one of those four subjects okay you must obtain at least 50 percent for four other subjects so at least 50 percent means not below 50 percent okay so you are looking at 50 51 52 all the way to 100 percent and another requirement is you must obtain at least 30 percent for the language of learning and teaching of an institution of higher learning such as a university okay so at least 30 percent not below 30 percent so the language of learning and teaching for many institutions is english okay the language of learning and teaching for many universities is english okay and another requirement is you must obtain at least 30 percent for one other subject okay at least 30 percent for one other subject and another requirement is you must pass at least six out of seven subjects okay so it is okay to fail one subject okay but not two subjects okay you can see anything below 30 percent is considered a fail okay from zero percent to 29 percent is considered a fail okay so you must pass at least six out of seven subjects so obtaining a bachelor degree qualifies you for bachelor degree studies okay obtaining a bachelor degree qualifies you for bachelor degree studies and it is important to note that just obtaining a bachelor degree will not enroll you for any bachelor degree studies so you will have to check for subject and mark levels requirement with the institution to which you are intending to apply okay so until next time, I will talk to you soon.